Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Candace Kaufman. Welcome to another Sunday devotion and technically it is so late that it is now Monday and I wanted to post this video by Sunday. However, here we are. I wanted to share some things with you and so I was doing my own personal study from the book of Joel. Joel is one of the minor prophets in the Old Testament and Joel's name and it means Yahweh is God. So Joel's father's name was Pethuel, and Pethuel means vision of God. So we have Yahweh is God that came from vision of God. Many of you might be familiar with Joel chapter 2 verse 28, but I want to back up a little bit and I want to go to Joel chapter 2 verse 12. And in verse 12, that passage is a call to repentance. So before we get to Joel chapter 2, verse 28, there's something very powerful that takes place in verse 12 that sets the stage for verse 28. And I wanted to share these things with you. So it's a call to repentance starting in verse 12. Now, therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. And verse 13 so rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and he relents from doing harm. And verse 14, who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. And I'm going to stop there, but when you have time, I would encourage you to read Joel chapter 2, verses 12 through 17 first. It is a powerful passage. It's a call to repentance. And it's a turning away. It's a shift. It's a turning away from those things that are not good, those things that are not pleasing to God. Maybe God has laid something on your heart right now, but it is a turning and it's a call to repentance. It says now. That's a powerful word. I'm just going to sit with that for a moment. It says now. Now. Therefore, says the Lord, turn to me. So it's a turning to the Lord instead of a turning away from him. Maybe some of you out there, you are turned away from the Lord and you know it. And God's word is saying right now, now, therefore, says the Lord, turn to me. And then I love the next part, with all your heart. So he loves you and he wants you to turn to him and he wants you to do it now. And he wants you to do it with all of your heart. And now I'm going to skip to verse 28. And I really appreciate Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. What a powerful verse. And then in verse 29, it says, and also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I don't know about you, but I believe that we are approaching those days. And I want you to be ready. So when you have time, I encourage you to read Joel chapter 2 verses 12 through 17 so we can be ready for when God pours out his spirit. Once you have read those passages, go back to Joel chapter 2 verse 28 and then I encourage you to read on after verse 28 and verse 29. I pray that these words bless you. I pray that you are blessed by the reading of God's word. May you be ready for the outpouring of of his spirit. God bless you. May you encounter
God in everyday life this week and beyond. God bless you, and I will see you next week for another inspirational video.